Hi, I'm Peter Kanström of Kanström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll teach you how to work with the links list in SharePoint 2013 on Office 365. As you'll notice here, I have a page and uh, I can, of course, add links to the actual page. But a nice way of doing this is adding another list that is specific to having links. So I'll add an app and here is a built-in one called links. There's a one called promoted links also, which I'll talk about later. Best way to find an app is, of course, to search for it. If I search for link, there we have the links and the promoted links. And in this demonstration, I'm going to talk about the links. So I'm going to create that. More reading or something like that. That's usually what you do with, with links, right? You want more information and go to the links. So in order to display this now on the kickoff here, page where we're at, I'm going to edit this page and I want the links to show up there. The one way, of course, is to change the text layout, but I'm going to put this inside a table here. So I'll have a table with two columns in the lower one row, and then I'll just insert my web part over there to get it to the right. So I'm just going to do a web part. And in this case, the app is, of course, the more reading. So now this list is being displayed on my first page inside this web part zone there. So now we have a list or a new app of the type links and I'm going to show you how to add stuff to it. It's very easy, just press this new link or I can go into edit mode directly. I'm just going to press new there and as you see I go into there and I type the address as usual. Like that and then I'll just save that. Of course you can add some notes also but I'm not going to do that now. So if you want to make this slightly more visually appealing and you don't want this link here, you don't want that, you just want the actual links, you can, of course, edit that web part. I'm going to do that by editing the page first and then editing the web part. And then I can change the view, so I might not want this checkbox here. And the editing, um, I just want to remove those. I don't want any type icon, I don't want the edit. I just want the URL and I don't want the notes either, just the URL. I don't want the edit menu either, so let's go into edit mode again, change that. I don't want this little drop down there, so let's change the view again. Okay, so let's just point to the URL like that. Now, very clean. Now, to remove the actual, this part, the toolbar, I'm going to go into edit mode again and change that, those properties on the web part. And I'll remove the toolbar, I'll have no toolbar, and under the appearance I'll have no Chrome. And then we'll just save that. And there we go, I have the URL and just a link there. Another more popular way of, of displaying links like that is changing the view yet another time here. Let me do that just to finalize this demo. Under the current view dialog there is a section called style. For below here, there's the style. We have a couple of this and box no labels is actually rather appropriate for this one. So let's put that in there. And there you have the tips. And of course, if I add another links here now, it's more reading, of course. There we go. And back to the home page, and there you see my two links. Looking rather good, I think. So that's uh, another way of working with links in a links app or a list. Thank you for watching this demo.